Doshay here and I'm back with another video for you guys and this time it's another review on the brand new movie that just came out this weekend, Incredibles 2. As many of you guys know, the original Incredibles came out about 14 years ago and many of us have been waiting for this wonderful sequel. And I have to be honest, I really enjoyed this movie. So the entire Incredible cast is back with Mr. Incredible, Elastigirl, Violet, Dash, Jack-Jack, and of course Frozone. So pretty much the entire, the basic plot of this film is that you pretty much have a big wig trying to make supers no longer illegal since as many of you guys know, which was touched on in the very first movie, is that supers are illegal and are not allowed to use their powers. So this big wig guy comes along and wants to entice Mr. Incredible, Frozone, and Elastigirl to try and help supers no longer become illegal. With that proposal, he pretty much wants Elastigirl to be the face of it. So you kind of kind of see Mr. Incredible become Mr. Mom. So you see him kind of struggling with the fact that he's not out there saving the world, but he's actually at home taking care of the kids. And his wife is actually out there trying to save the world and things of that matter. Not only that, but you see Mr. Incredible also deal with Jack-Jack and his mini powers coming to the surface. As many of you guys know, in the very first Incredibles, at the end of the movie, you actually see Jack-Jack actually show some kind of superpowers, which was, at first, Mr. Incredible and Elastigirl thought Jack-Jack didn't have any powers. But it turns out he actually does, and he has quite a few of them. You also see Violet go through like a weird adolescence phase when she has like a crush on a boy and how all that ends up working out. And of course you see Dash being Dash and pretty much just needing help with his math homework. It was very interesting to see Mr. Incredible in this role and a lot of times to see him kind of upset that his wife was taking the forefront and you can see that that was a huge, huge struggle for him. But he also didn't want to tell his wife that things weren't exactly working out as he thought they were going to. So he kind of had to lie to his wife at times to let her know that things were going well, even though they honestly weren't. Of course, Frozone was also involved in this film. And I have to say, compared to the first one, Frozone's pretty cool. And to be honest, I actually was so glad there's a lot more of him in this movie compared to the first one. There's also a whole bunch of other supers that you're kind of introduced to, one of them being Crunch or Crush, I believe, and the other one being Void. There's a lot of more other supers too as well that they, they kind of introduce you to. And those ones, those ones, their names I can't exactly remember at the moment, but Void was actually really, really cool. She was also a female superhero also. So it was also really nice to see a lot of female superheroes come forward in this movie and kind of be the forefront of this film. It kind of was like, you know, when everyone watched Black Panther and loved the Dora Milaje and loved all the women warriors. That's how, how I kind of felt about watching Incredibles 2 and seeing all the female supers be at the forefront of this film. One thing I will say that compared to me watching the first one 14 years ago and this one now, since I'm older, I was kind of able to see mm -hmm. where this film was going to go before like the most of the rest of the audience kind of was and I think it was because since I am older I was able to deduce who the bad guy was super quickly and that wasn't a surprise. I will say though my favorite moments in this entire movie actually had nothing to do with the last girl or the villain they were fighting. They all had to do with Jack Jack because Jack Jack is so funny. So while you had kind of the main plot of seeing Elastigirl try and figure out who the bad guy is, you also had a, another subplot, which was where Mr. Incredible was dealing with Jack Jack's powers and trying to figure out how he's supposed to deal with this kid who's just a baby, doesn't have control over his powers and what it is that he is supposed to do, which is where you kind of enter Edna Mode and she kind of helps him out with that. But that to me was, actually the funnier plot of this entire film and I actually loved it. One of my favorite scenes in this entire movie, and it is not a spoiler so don't worry about it, is actually a scene between Jack Jack and a raccoon and that is where you see like most of Jack Jack's powers. And the reason why I like that scene is because it's so hilarious to see him battling against a raccoon over something just because the raccoon was going through the trash but it was just it was just a really a hilarious scene and that had to be my favorite. But overall, Incredibles 2 was definitely worth the 14 year wait for this sequel. 
And I really, really hope it doesn't take another 14 years for them to come out with a third one, but you never know when it comes to Disney and Pixar. But what I want to say honestly is that I hope everyone goes out and sees this movie. I'm sure you guys will not be disappointed. And for some people who actually never saw the first one, they actually in really enjoyed the second one. And for many people that I know who have seen the first one and also saw the second one, they actually prefer the second one better. And I have to say, this is kind of similar to when the sequel came out for Toy Story 2 and many people enjoyed the sequel over the first one. And that's kind of the same trend that Incredibles 2 seems to be heading on. But go out and see this movie. It's once again, it's out in theaters. It came out Friday, June 15th. I don't know why I almost said July when that's not the date. But anyway, go out and see this movie. You will definitely enjoy it and you guys will laugh your butts off. Also, one quick thing is that, of course, like most Disney films or Disney Pixar films, there's always a short at the beginning of the movie before Incredibles starts or before any movie starts or any Disney movie starts. But there is one for this movie, and it was interesting interesting short to watch. It was kind of like a mother and how she takes care of her son and all this other and everything else. But it was done in the realm of like the mother and the father are obviously Asian, I believe Chinese, and they're eating like dim sum, and the dim sum turns into like a little boy. It's really strange to watch, but then the overall purpose of this short was actually kind of sad and truly truly heartbreaking so I definitely recommend when you're watching that film of course you're going to watch this short and I hope you guys enjoy that short also and it's the first ever Disney Pixar short that was done by a woman so go us but thanks you guys for watching this video please comment down below if you've already seen Incredibles 2 and let me know what you thought of it let me know if you liked it disliked it loved it let me know who your favorite character is my favorite character is Jack Jack, obviously, because he's so cute and so funny. But yeah, thanks you guys once again for watching this video. Like always, I come out with new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And I hope you guys check out my next video when I come out with that on Wednesday. Like always, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll leave links down below to all my social media accounts, my Instagram, my Twitter, and my blog as well. And be sure, you guys, to stay nerdy. All right, you guys. Bye.